carpooled here from Canada on my feckin' Zamboni, bud. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, I love this room. This reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> On the empty bottles. <laughs> you guys, I don't want to get old. All right, it's all I ever talk about. People are like, don't worry about getting old because true beauty comes from the inside. And I'm like, that's bullshit because no one wants to come inside of me unless I look beautiful. <laughs> My dad's an immigrant, which means he thinks that at this point in my life, I should be married with a thousand kids by now. Every time he introduces me to someone new, he's like, this is my daughter, Angelica. You should see her when she's wearing makeup. <laughs> the women in my family do not age well, okay? By the time we hit 40, we look like Joe Pesci in drag. <laughs> we start doing crazy shit like watering the driveway and raising incels. <laughs> I'm not gonna be raising any incels. I got an IUD. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got a 10-year mortgage on mine. <laughs> that thing is gonna come out looking like it spent the last decade at Burning Man. <laughs> I love the IUD. It's so good. It's like putting the coat hanger in first. <laughs> you know how you can feel like a widow baby forever? Just date a really old man. That's a life hack for you. You know you're dating the right older man when you don't have to worry about meeting the parents. <laughs> oh, they died a long time ago. They were remembered in the original Remembrance Day. Okay? You can learn a lot from dating an older man uh, because all of his stories start off with the phrase, Back when bread no, was a nickel. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, he was like the dad I had. <laughs> Every time he came, I'd save it so I could get it appraised at the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Certainly this pearl necklace must be worth something. <laughs> I'm afraid I did contract like an ancient STD. Like I'm a bit of a hypochondriac. Like I'm worried I don't have HPV. I just have V. <laughs> but dating older men is great. Um, I got my first stalker recently. Thank you very much from comedy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I got a voicemail on my answering machine. I listened to it. Uh, this guy was definitely missing something. Uh, his front teeth, for sure. This is the voicemail. He's like, hi, I saw your fat three weeks ago, three Saturdays ago, and I thought you were very pretty, to be honest with you. Don't know me how, but I was able to get your number. I thought that maybe we could go for a cup of coffee and get to know each other better, you. <laughs> I know they found grave you. Yeah, swear to God, I never done them. But I figure, hey, why not? I got nothing to lose. Click. <laughs> Homie didn't leave his name or his number though. I look at my phone, it says Bell Payphone. Like, do those even exist anymore? Like, all I can picture is this guy just jerking off in a Bell Payphone booth, like, yo! And I'm just at home, just like, what's my next one liner? What am I gonna hit them with, baby? Trying not to bomb. Um, I don't have time for relationships these days, uh, but I do have time for a good old come to the face, okay? Yeah? A lot of people are like, oh my god, that's so demeaning. Uh, I think it's cathartic. I think it keeps me level-headed. It's a good ego queller. <laughs> Gives me an excuse to close my eyes, okay? <laughs> yes, I am tired. I asked my ex to come on my face and he refused. He was like, Angelica, I respect you too much. I see you as the future mother of my children. I'm like, honey, I just want you to see your children in my eyes. <laughs> I, uh, there's a lot of vegans out there, eh? What the fuck's going on with all these vegans? I'm a meat eater, okay? That's why I got that natural flush in my cheek. Okay, that's what you get. 
Uh, I briefly dated a cigarette smoking vegan with commitment issues. <laughs> if the zombie apocalypse ever happens and humans have to resort to cannibalism, he will be my first target. Because I know he is free range and grass fed with a hint of smoky flavor. Yeah, that's right, I cure vegans. Thank you so much. That's my time. I'm in Jolly Bag.